Hey guys, Randy here at eTrailer.com. Today we've got in a 2010 StarCraft Homestead, and we're going to be switching out the pin box on it. This is a new pin box. We'll show you the installation process in a minute. But essentially, this is going to be from Lippert Components. This is the direct replacement. This one uses a 1621 pin box. Now, Lippert has this in a standard. They've got it in an HD and then an uh, SHD, which would be super heavy duty. Now, in the standard duty model, it's going to have a 15,500 pound capacity. The the heavy duty which we've put on here is the 18,000 pound and the super heavy duty is going to go to 21,000 pounds. Overall this is going to be an exact replacement for what you've got on there now. Um, just kind of restores everything, gets our kingpin back to where it's round in case we've had, had any damage there. And it will include the mounting brackets that actually attach up to your fifth wheel. So. Uh, maybe you've backed into it and you've bent it or damaged it one way or another and you need a new solid bracket to mount that's going to come with it as well or maybe you're rebuilding a trailer whatever your case might be but it's nice heavy duty steel construction has that nice black powder coat finish on it and the installation process isn't all that difficult it's a little bit kind of off weight it'll kind of pull down on the front more so than in the back but two guys can very easily once you remove your bolts lower this down and out get your new one up and in and it comes with the new hardware to attach it so you're not going to be reusing the old hardware when working with customers they often ask how do i know which pin box i need or which one's going to be the right one for my camper and basically on all your pin boxes you're going to have a stamped series of letters and numbers in the side of it that's what you want to use to reference which one's going to be the right one for your application now of course it's a kingpin that we use to connect a trailer to a truck so it's extremely heavy duty has a nice black powder coat finish on it helps to withstand any of the elements out there uh, this is going to be a direct replacement so this is the exact thing that generally is going to come on your 1621 equipped camper or your 1116. Um, the one thing to keep in mind is oftentimes people will upgrade these. So this is a standard just a steel link, right? Uh, some of them have airbags in them. So if the ride quality that you've been experiencing isn't what you want, or if you get some of that weight coming down the back of the truck and you can kind of feel it through the truck, adding a pin box or upgrading instead of getting this one, maybe get one that has the, the air ride, like the, the fifth airborne. That'll give you an air cushion in there or the Gen Y, the, the really nice fifth wheel or king pin that'll connect to a fifth wheel and has like a torsion axle built into it. Both of those are really good options as well. But if you've been pleased with the quality you've got and you, you don't have any complaints, I think this is an excellent replacement. Now, the replacement process isn't that involved. We just gotta remove some bolts, get the old one out, new one in, and put some new bolts in. These can be a little bit heavy, so I recommend having two guys when you go to actually pull it out and place it back in. So let's take a look at that process now. Now, of course, we need to get our old pin box out of the way here. So you want to inspect it first. Uh, you can see here we've got our breakaway switch that's attached. So we're going to be removing that self-tapper to get that out. Check your wiring to make sure that it doesn't run through one of the holes on the pin box or something. And then also check your seven pole plug. This one runs up and in, so we're in really good shape there. Nothing's attached to the pin box, but sometimes the seven pole will be ran to a junction box on the pin box, then it goes back from there. So just really inspect it properly. Make sure you're not going to be doing any damage to the wiring, and then we'll take out the main bolts here and get our old one out of the way. We'll start on our larger bolts here. It's going to be a 15 16 so just keep that in mind. You can see as I'm removing these, I'm leaving some of them in here. They don't have nuts or lock washers on them, but once I get this last one loosened up, I don't want the pin box to fall, so that's just kind of there as a fail safe just to hold it for us. Once we get an extra set of hands, we can pull those out and take this one out. Now with the help of an extra set of hands, we're just going to start wiggling this guy out of there. As you can see, fairly easy for one guy to hold. It's a little bit heavy, but you'll be able to manage. Set it aside and get our new one in place. Now we've got our new one coming in. 
With doing this, we're also gonna use the new hardware. I know we had good hardware that was there before, but I like replacing it when we get the opportunity. You see, it takes a little bit of force to get them in there sometimes. Now that we've got all of our bolts and hardware started, remember uh, we're gonna have the bolt with a flat washer on the outside. On the inside, there's a lock washer and a nut. We're gonna get all these snug down, then we can torque them down appropriately. Then we'll decide on our breakaway switch location and use our self-tapper to get that in place. Well guys, I hope that was helpful. Shows you how to get the pin box out, how to get the new pin box in, and some of the details on it. So again, that's gonna complete our look at the 2010 Homestead by Starcraft pin box replacement.